Morning, y'all. This is Marie from Mar Oki Homestead. Down here watching the baby goats run and play together and supervised because this is day four for the newest one for Cookie. Uh, Oreo's Cookie. <laughs> so, I'm just kind of watching them and had the camera on them for a while with them running, jumping, playing. They're always the most active whenever I first let them out. And uh, once they kind of burn off some steam, then they'll all just kind of lay around and nap after that. So it usually doesn't last very long, but I'm just going to take some little short clips, put them together, put them some music for y'all, and uh, hope y'all enjoy. Thanks for watching. Look at that little short, stocky body. Little short neck. Yeah. Little short neck. Yeah. He looks like a little billy goat gruff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I was trying to compare him confirmation wise with. Annie and with Jaden's little fancy one that he hasn't named yet and like I said his little face to me is just like the shape is just super cute they're fighting for position as you can see I got another one over here up on me <laughs> what you pawing my leg for huh yeah, it won't be long. you would be like, uh, no, <laughs> no pulling the legs. What you want? Yeah, they seem to think I'm supposed to understand what they want. <laughs> How do you base confirmation to get better meat goat qualities? So picking your, does more of that come from the sire or does it come from the little does? Or just a combo? Yeah. Hey, he looks pretty nice to me. Yeah. Am I just barn blind with my goats too, I guess? <laughs> Oreo's baby's gonna be just like her. <laughs> nag, nag, nag. <laughs> She's constantly getting up on my legs. <laughs> uh, out there. They're out there in the mama and baby pen and all the babies are in here. I'm trying to continue on a conversation about Goats, billy goats. How do you pick one to be your herd sire? If it's a mix uh, and you're basing it on <clears throat> meat goat qualities. It's got this little boxy rectangular shaped body. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
y'all? <laughs> I don't know if the camera caught that or not, but Andy was like on my back. <laughs> I kneeled down with the baby and she jumped up on me. That was crazy. She a crazy goat. She a crazy goat. I don't have any more animal crackers, Snowball. Sorry. Sorry. Good look at her. She's so proud. She's so proud. She says, she's a big girl. She gets to jump on the mower now, too. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be fine them all being together, but those older ones would kind of make run that little one kind of ragged. What are you chewing on? Give me that. Give me that. She's got a piece of paper or something. Oh my god, give me that. What did you put down? You don't need that. Oh. That's been an ongoing project, is picking up pieces of stuff out of the barn. So the baby goats won't get on it, get hold of it and chew on it. Problem is, pieces keep showing up. And of course, ongoing project <laughs> is my webby barn. <laughs> anyway, so for now, they're just running loose in their little baby pen and as soon as we get that billy goat pen done, then they'll have another area over there to run around. And then of course, that's that's if I'm not out here to watch them and keep an eye on them. Anytime I'm out here working around the barn for a while, I just turn them out. And then that way they just kind of hang out close to where I'm at. Good one. I never get tired of this view out here. Love that blue sky. It looks like it's trying to peek through and be another beautiful day. Hopefully we'll get there. I hope everybody else has a beautiful day, whether it's overcast or sunny. Y'all have a good one.